I'm not going to, but could you imagine? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be different because we are just gonna be getting right to the point. I never thought that I would make a video like this in my life. Whew. I'm actually gonna say it. Okay, a few years ago, I made a post somewhere. I can't even find it. I've tried to look for it many times now, but I remember it perfectly. It was my old like makeup desk and it was like a little pan over all of the makeup that I owned. And the caption said, could you imagine if I went an entire year without buying makeup? I'm not going to, but could you imagine? Well, younger Taryn, humble your fucking self because we are doing just that. I've done a three month no vibe for makeup before and I just, I don't know what happened. Like it was helpful, but then I just kept buying more. And I just have so much stuff that I need to get through. So I am cutting myself off completely within reason. I'm still allowing myself if I like run out of the staples, like concealer, mascara, which I probably will not run out of mascara if I'm being honest. But if I run out of anything like shampoo, conditioner, face wash, like, I can get those but only when I'm out. I decided to do this in November because I figured if I tell myself to wait until January 1st to start this, to go an entire year, I'm just gonna set myself up for failure and all of November and December, I would probably be buying makeup thinking that I need it to stock up, you know, so I can go that whole year. It has been two months now. I think I've used up a single product which was my cleanser. Haven't really run out of anything as far as makeup goes. Makeup just used to be the top priority in my life. Like this is still my favorite form of art, my favorite form of expression. It is still very important to me, but I'm learning that I don't need to have as much of it because the amount of eyeshadow palettes that I still have, even though I've constantly, consistently decluttered since my first original declutter, I still could go my entire life and probably not use up all of them. So there's that. You guys, I have made a goal for myself this year to save quite a bit of money because of the pandemic and all of the unemployment and just everything and kind of being able to live below my means, I've been able to just about double that number. <laughs> Never thought I would do that and accomplish different things other than just like, let me have the most amazing makeup collection ever because I saw it on YouTube. It's gross. I used to shop like I was a damn YouTuber. People on YouTube get paid for doing that. I don't. I'm just letting you guys know that I'm on this journey now to not buy shit, not buy any beauty products, and it's gonna be so hard for me because I feel like there's so many launches happening this year. There's gonna be so much makeup. I can't do it. Like, I will not buy a single eyeshadow palette this year, probably. If you want to go on this little journey with me, that would be fun so I'm not just suffering alone. But I just wanna live more intentionally and this whole minimal and not buying makeup for an entire year is going to, I think, really help me overall. Coming from a pretty much shopaholic to you guys. If I can do this, you can do this. And I'm not saying that you guys have to if you guys literally buy like one palette a year and you're like, damn, don't have that problem. I hope that you continue to stay that way because I'm so jealous. But I know some of my friends have the same problem as me where we just buy and buy and buy and buy and buy. It's not a sustainable way of living. If you guys would like to do this too, let me know if you also have this problem where you keep buying stuff even though you know you have things at home. Let me know. If you think I'm absolutely crazy for doing this, also let me know. And if you think I can't do it, screw you. Watch me do it. If you guys want to see any makeup looks with other palettes that I have, I can do that. But I will not be buying any of the new shit that comes out this year. And if I do, I will let you know. And then the people that doubt me, you can be right. But for right now, I'm gonna just assume that you're not gonna be right and then I'm gonna totally accomplish this goal. It'll go great. I'm going to be in a better mindset than I am right now <laughs> looking at all this stuff that you guys can't see. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.